The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you, DigiKey. Every single week, Lady Ada shows you how to find stuff on digikey.com, and one of the most useful skills you can have on planet Earth right now is being able to find parts. Lady Ada, what is the great search this week? Okay, for this week, so I was working on this uh, I squared C, and there's the overhead. Yep. This I squared C um, adapter board that can connect to LED arcade buttons. Uh, I love these, these are, these are durable, they're pressy, and of course they're glowy. Um, so I've got a PWM output and a uh, digital input that's being read. Um, and some of these LED arcade buttons really need five volt power. Uh, even if the board itself is three volt logic, I need to give the LEDs five volts uh, for them to light up. And that's not unusual. A lot of arcade stuff is very, is still very kind of five volt land. Um, Cause a lot of controller boards are meant to plug into USB. And so they have, you know, five volts available. Um, but since these uh, STEM IQT boards can plug into 3.3-volt um, logic and power, I wanted to make sure that we had a way to give them um, to generate that 5 volts. And so normally you're like, oh, i got 3 volts and I need 5 volts. No problem. I get a boost converter. And, and I love boost converters. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with DC-DC uh, boost converters. But they're always like, you know, you're like, how hard can it be? Before you know, you need a chip, and then you need a diode, and then you need an inductor, and then like... You sometimes even need, um, you know, a compensation cap or you need a, a resistor divider. And, you know, when I don't need a lot of current, if I need only like 50, maybe 100 milliamps of current, I actually prefer to go with a charge pump. Um, they're great for when you just need a reference voltage, um, if you need a small amount of current. They're not very uh, power efficient because they always double the input voltage and then regulate it down. They can't they're not like a boost converter where it can change the, the PWM rate into the inductor to change the boost voltage. They'll always double, they're doublers. Um, the way they, they take the capacitor and they switch the, the connections back and forth, they basically double the amount of voltage. Um, so if you give it 3.3 volts, it'll double it to 6.6 .6 and then linearly regulate down to five. So again, they're not power efficient, but they're really cheap and something like this, which isn't gonna be battery powered, um, Personally, I think it's, it's just fine. Um, okay, so let's go to the computer and I'll show you. So this is, uh, this is a schematic I have for every LED switch. So I've got the switch here, um, one pin connected to ground, one pin is connected to the digital input. And then over here, the other one, I've got the five volt power. And then because I, have, I might have three volt logic, I have to use an end channel uh, FET to you know, or you can use an NPN. In this case, I'm using an N-channel uh, FET to uh, quickly um, turn on and off or you basically connect the other side of the LED to ground. I can't do uh, high level, not easily, because um, again, the logic level might be three volts. So I, you know, I have to reference it to ground. I can't reference it from, from five volts below. Um, so that's a PWM controller. And then this is the switch cap. So Again, I like switch cap converters because they're so simple. Um, you know, you've got your uh, VCC input, and then you've got your uh, switch cap, which is one microfarad, and then you've got the output, which is five. And another nice thing is these are always, they, they kind of come in a standard six pin TSOP SOP23 package. Um, there's a shutdown pin if you want it, but pretty much it's like voltage in, voltage out, one small capacitor, no inductor, no resistor, no compensation, no diode. So I'm a big fan of these. I really like them. And again, they're good up to usually about 50 to 100 milliamps. So you can draw, you know, you can drive a couple of LEDs from them. So let's go to DigiKey. And so finding these is a little bit interesting because they can actually be in two different spots. So, um, you know, I usually just type in DC, DC charge pump um, to try to filter out all the inductor based boost converters. Um, so normally you'd think, okay, let me go to, you know, uh, PMIC voltage regulators and, and that's not a bad place to start. Um, let's go with active, positive, single output, 
um, and the output is five volts fixed. So that'll at least get us, you know. And there's ones that do other voltages, by the way. Um, for example, if you're doing uh, UART to TTL, UART TTL to like RS-232 logic, you'll want to boost up to plus or minus 10 volts. So you actually usually get two charge pumps, one that takes your five volts and gives you 10, and another one that inverts the 10 back to um, negative 10. So uh, let's uh, filter. And then let's see what we've got available. So there's, you know, there's a couple things. Um, they, they do come in other packages. And I, I will say a lot of them, you know, are in the, the five pin or six pin um, category. So if I'm looking for one that's equivalent to, um, you know, the package that I'm using, it's going to look something like this. You know, this, this six sot. Uh, so let's also only look for in stock. Looks like about 56 options. Um, but here's the thing, they're cheap. I mean, like, you know, for quantity one, they're, they're 95 cents. Um, this is probably the closest, you know, again, that package, I, I, you know, originally used the AP3602. AP3602 is discontinued, but, you know, luckily there's a lot of, uh, you know, crossable, uh, pin compatible, um, charge pumps, but here's, there's, you know, there's a bunch. Um, so the thing is, is that, you know, there, there are some here, but you can also find them in, oh, I know one more thing. I just want to, before I leave, show you the, uh, current output. So a lot of them, you know, they'll give you, you can, as long as you give them again, it can't be less than one half the voltage because it's a doubler. So it has to get, you have to give it at least like 2.7 volts. Um, but yeah, a lot of them will give you, you know, 150, 120 milliamps, 60. Um, they say it's a small, but a fair amount of current. And uh, another nice thing is they're not noisy. Like you'll never get uh, inductor noise from them. The other place to look though, and this is the thing, you gotta be careful because, you know, I went here and I was like, ah, you know, I found a couple options. Um, but also look under LED drivers. They're also, you know, they're often, considered for like LED drivers. And so even though, and I see this for a lot of DC DCs, like the, you check both locations because, you know, for example, my OLED uh, boost converters, whenever I look for those, the chip I use, which is a constant current, sorry, a constant voltage, like the fan 533, 13 volt boost converter, it's actually sorted under LED drivers, not under voltage regulators. Eh, it's one of those things. Um, okay, so again, active, one output, um, voltage, five volts, wait, no, sorry, uh, voltage output, five volts, and let's also only look at in stock. So there's also uh, a couple here. And so actually the one that I'm using um, nowadays is this RT, 61 AGE. Now there's not a lot in stock right now. There's only 130 um, because I recently uh, bought a wheel of 4,000. Um, but this is what I use and it's, you know, it's drop and replaceable with the AP3602 um, and it works lovely. You know, it just gives you a nice clean five volts uh, with just an extra capacitor. And, you know, in quantity there, they can be as little as 30 or 40 cents per chip, um, which again, by the time you add the inductor, and the diode and, and the chip is gonna be, you know, maybe half the price of a, a boost converter um, with only like one or two placements. You only need that one capacitor and the chip. So if you're doing manufacturing, you're pay paying for placement and you're paying five to 10 cents a placement, you know, it's also gonna be cheaper to, um, to go with a charge pump. So this is uh, my great search. And that's research. Charge pump.